Your mission is to infiltrate Zanzibar land and rescue Dr. Keo Mar. My name is Holly White. Don't you think about treating me like some damsel you have to rescue? Help me! It's me, Kyle Schneider. <laughs> yeah, I knew that. What? Then why? That was for letting me walk into the gas chamber without a mask. My voice hasn't been the same since, you bastard. Zanzibar land has new metal gear, one that moves and has weapons. They're even planning a mass production version. It can't be. Big boss. There is woman on base named Gustava Hitler. I thought of getting married once. Back when I still skated, I was in love with a western man named Frank Hunter. <laughs> Gustava! Snake! Remember me? Grey Fox! Mardar is coming with me, Snake! But I'll tell you what, I appreciate what you did for me in Outer Heaven. So if you turn tail now, I won't blast you into 50 billion pieces! <laughs> Fox! You better hope I'm in more pieces than that, you son of a- Because otherwise I'm gonna shove every little fucking piece of my corpse down your throat! By the way, I'm not happy! Remember, Kim? What? What do you mean, not an appropriate Armed Force logo? This- no, 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 this is bullshit, man. I'm the fucking face of Foxhound. Let go of me, you assholes! A nice elevator ride. That'll cut my- What the- I see you decided not to take me up on my offer, Snake. Just as well. My friends have been itching for someone to play with. We are the four horsemen! You're not riding horses. We don't have to deal with your lips, sonny! We get our orders straight from the president! Did he tell you to die? Because that's what'll happen. Ugh. By two fellows, he was right! Fucking hate you, Fox! We Eat my ass, Gap! Aha! I am Jungle Evil! Undisputed master of the jungle ambush, yes. You, Snake, shall be my most dangerous quarry to date. Well, we can't all worry to shit with missiles, but I can. Hiya, kids! I just wanted to tell you that Roy Campbell's a douchebag who'll destroy everything you've ever worked for. Snake, it's your number one fan again. Night Fright is in the room with you. He's the last surviving member of the Whispers. Never heard of them. Real one-hit wonders, huh? They were a tactical guerrilla unit. Night Fright in particular operates with state-of-the-art optic camouflage and a silenced assault rifle. Your only hope is... <laughs> you were saying? Apparently nothing you didn't know. Snake, I am afraid Dr. Marv did not make it. Bad ticker. Sure are some nasty bruise marks on his neck for a heart attack. Thankfully, he left copy of Oilix plans in such case. It is hidden in cartridge of MSX game made by Japanese company Konami. Oh yeah, the MSX is a real hot item here in 1999, isn't it? And that wonderful Konami, have they ever made a bad game? Where's his locker key? You would not fucking spit it out, I mean, who is to say? Snake, be careful! I just found out that Modnar was labeled as a dangerous crackpot by the scientific community in the West and has been working as a double agent for Zanzibar Land ever since. Which means he probably fed them Dr. Marv's location. He must have been after Oilex. So last Snake crosses finish line. I give up everything for scientific career in America, but they reject my idea of walking nuclear death tank for practical weapons. Only Big Boss realizes value of structurally unsound bipedal machinery. Matnar, you killed Dr. Marv, didn't you? Of course! He's a rational thing to do for scientific recognition. I also made call in sewer to Grey Fox, which led to Gustava's bye-bye. Snake, I know Gustava gave you locker key, and now I, feeble old man, reasonably expect to take it from you by force. Ugh. Come on, really? Is this really what we're doing? No! No! Ah! It's like this whole place is filled with douche gas that turns once sane people into complete assholes! Snake, this is Miller. Gustava's brooch should somehow magically transform into a key at extreme temperatures. This would normally be Campbell's line, but I had to be shoehorned into this thing somewhere. Spacious locker for this one game cartridge. Well, one man's treasure is another man's mission objective. Snake, 
he plans to use Metal Gear for my daughter Ellen. I tell you how to destroy. Armor is thinnest on legs. Use grenades. You know, for your obsession with bipedal weaponry, you sure suck at the bipedal part. But hey, if you somehow live through this, you can make it up to me by working maintenance on my cyborg ninja protege. Whoa, what the hell? Hey, kids. Look, uh, Foxy's decided to leave the armed forces and pursue a college education. Isn't that fun, kids? I don't know how this became my life. Snake, this isn't your daddy's Metal Gear. Actually, I suppose that technically, never mind. Die, Snake. Don't be so proud of this technological terror Bodnar constructed. The legs always suck. The cartridge is mine, Snake! Burn in hell! Snake, your equipment's on fire. Ditch it all. But, but it's mine! Snake, do you want to die? Guess not. What is this place? We're in the middle of a minefield, Snake! Both of us, with only our bare fists, the only way we can truly live! You're crazy! Crazy like a fox! Enough! Fox puns. How the fox did I lose? Probably the same reason you've been such a colossal jackass lately. Big Boss was more than a CO to me, Snake. He saved my life several times. Right, when you were a half-white child slave in Vietnam and a Renamo soldier in Mozambique where they cut off your nose and ears, right? No, that was a fabrication. I was a child soldier in Mozambique. Big Boss saved me and brought me to a relief center, and I was picked up by a man named Gene who shoved me into a sensory deprivation tank to make me the perfect soldier. Big Boss fought me and convinced me to join Foxhound, which I did until I left to fight in Mozambique again, where, as you said, they cut off my nose and ears. Then Big Boss saved me again and I joined Foxhound again. That sounds awkward, clumsy, and poorly planned. War is awkward, clumsy, and poorly planned, Snake. But I need it. All the children here do. I could never make Gustava happy. That's why I blew her up with a missile. Sounds reasonable. Well, rest easy, Fox. I won't become a bitter, jaded soldier like you. Good, Snake. Don't let your fans down. Wait! That guy on the radio who sounded like you was you? Yes. Now don't make me come back as a cyborg ninja and beat the shit out of you, alright? <laughs> alright, Ocelot. Thank you for the update. Yeah, I did get the letter. And the pictures. Can we talk later? Snake is on his way. Alright, thanks. I... I love you too. Big Boss. So... You did survive. Welcome to Zanzibar Land, Snake. I'd say your visit was unexpected, but I'm no liar. You spent all of Outer Heaven lying to me. All I care about is that the nightmares end today. Oh, the nightmares never end, Snake. Combat is a drug, and once it gets you hooked, it never lets you off. You care nothing for power, or money, or even sex. The only thing that satisfies your craving is war! You're just saying that because you're sterile, aren't you? Those children you saw are all victims of war, and they'll make fine soldiers in the next war. Start a war, fan its flames, create victims, save them, train them, and feed them back onto the battlefield. Truly I hold the moral high ground. Your legacy of war ends today, big boss! No! This fight will change nothing. The one who survives will inherit the title of boss, and the one who inherits the title of boss will face an existence of endless battle. You're a soldier. Finish your mission. Prove your loyalty. Face me. That's easy to say when you've got an assault rifle and I've got jack shit. Try escaping Groznygrad with a fork sometime. 
Snake, you got to stop Big Boss. He's a monster, Cause. Is that you? Gotta go. Hey, Big Boss, I think you could use some extra lift. Snake! This isn't over. It's not over yet. By the way, I'm your dad. Ah! The hell did he say? Freeze! Son of a- <laughs> It's just me, Snake. You fucking bitch! Do you realize what I just went through? I I'm sorry- No! Give me that gun! Charlie, do you read me? Loud and clear, Snake. Need a lift? Yeah, and this time, try to stay away from any Shadaloo Doomsday weapons. Come on, it was just the one time. Wait, I still haven't told Guile I'm not dead, have I? There they are! Kill them even though our leader is already dead and we have much more important things to attend to! We've got you villains cornered now. You'll never beat the power of our friendship. You win. Charlie, we could have died just now. Oh, I've done that a couple times. It's not that bad. Let's go, Snake. We'll be home in time for Christmas. You think you can make this a happy ending? Nothing about this is right. I'm moving to the coldest, most isolated shithole where no one will look for me. I'm getting pissed out of my head. You... Campbell, and everything related to Foxhound can all go to hell! I'm never doing this again! Not even if my secret evil twin brother hijacks a nuclear disposal site! I'm done! Finished! Over! Snake, are you sure you won't come back? Modnar killed Marv. Gray Fox killed his ex, who I was falling for. Big Boss might be my father. And every truth I thought I had a hold on has turned on me. I just need to be away from all of this, alright? Okay, I'll be certain not to respect that. Well, at the very least, we now have the formula for Oilix, the fuel revolution that will invariably change the world for the better and that you went through hell to obtain. Obviously, the best course of action is to never use it, ever. Hey, where'd Snake go? He said he'd buy me dinner! He also just possibly committed patricide. Don't be a bitch, Holly. 